And now, it's time for the most spectacular, extraordinary, revolutionary, off the charts, bona fide, highly rated, highly anticipated, worthy of two thumbs up emojis, first ever, maybe only ever, digital event of the year. Don't scroll past us now, it's what you're waiting for. Live from Studio A, it's the Action News Mornings Awards. And now, here is your host, digital producer Brock Kohler. Welcome everyone to a one of a kind show you may never see again. It's the 6 ABC Action News Mornings Awards. Every weekday morning, Matt, Tam, David, and Karen bring you the latest news, weather, and traffic, and everything in between. And within those hours of 4 a.m. to 7 a.m., there are plenty of moments that capture the fun, the weird, and downright goofy times between the Action News morning team and you, the 6ABC viewers. So today, we are looking back at the monumental year and celebrating some of our favorite moments. With that said, let's get to our first award. Our Action News morning team has many talents. Some you see on air, like Catherine Scott bringing you those heartfelt stories or Matt Pellman's puns. But some are purely unscripted talent. Now let's see the nominees for the Best Skills Award. Here are the nominees for Best Skills. Matt O'Donnell playing drums. Jeanette Reyes, big Wait, hit. Oh! <laughs> and David Murphy's handstand. And now the winner of the Best Skills Award is Matt O'Donnell playing the drums. Yes. yes. Congratulations. I give a speech? Yes. I, give I, your acceptance. I'd like to thank mom, dad, my kids, my wife, my dog, whoever invented key lime pie. It's really, really good. And also Tommy Lee, Dave Lombardo, John Bonham, and many other drummers who have inspired me to play music and hit things very hard. Thank you, everyone. This means so much to me. This is a career moment. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the weather is always changing. As the song says, winter, spring, summer, fall, all you have to do is call, and the AccuWeather team will be there. You've got a friend. Both Karen Rogers and David Murphy work tirelessly to bring the forecast to you, the Action News viewers. But only one can win this next award. Here are the nominees for Best Meteorologist. Here are the nominees for Best Meteorologist. David Murphy and Karen Rogers. And the winner of Best Meteorologist is, wait a second, Karen Rogers' son Kevin. What? There was a third nominee. What? Here's, here's some video of him in action from Take Your Child to Work Day. Tomorrow there's going to be heavy rain coming in from the west, so it's a great day to go to the movie theater and see Avengers Endgame. <laughs> nice. Now since Kevin can't be here, Accepting for him is his mother, Karen Rogers. I want a recount. This is for Kevin. <laughs> this is for, do I have to give it to now, him? If you give a speech. Well, he's gonna be very excited. I will say that when Kevin was here, he told my producers to fire me so he could have my job. So I think he's worked towards this. Hey, that's great, Kev. You take it, I'm gonna sleep in. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Now, if a picture is worth a thousand words, a GIF must be worth at least a thousand ten words. These are some of the moments you may have shared as a GIF. Here are the nominees for best GIF-worthy moment. Here are the nominees for best GIF-worthy moment. Tamala Edwards sees pumpkin spice spam. No. Tamala Edwards and Karen Rogers as superheroes versus villains. And Matt O'Donnell, Tamala Edwards, and Karen Rogers imitating emojis. And the winner of Best Gift Worthy Moment is Tamala Edwards sees Pumpkin Spice Spam. Woo! There you go, Tam. Congratulations. Between mustard ice cream and, and pumpkin spice spam this year, there was a lot to make faces to. And then, of course, there were Matt's jokes. Well, thank you again for my award. Woo! <laughs> Let me see if I can get an eye roll in. <laughs> Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, but that saying was coined well before any of these impressions were made. <laughs> Here are the nominees for best impersonation. 
Here are the nominees for Best Impersonation. Karen Rogers as a Spelling Bee contestant, Matt O'Donnell as Mr. Rogers, and David Murphy as Rocky. And the winner of the Best Impersonation Award is David Murphy as Rocky. Now, now David is on assignment, but he did send in this video from an undisclosed location. Hello dolls over here on the West Coast. So th I want to thank you so much for this wonderful, wonderful honor. It was great playing Rocky. Uh, I actually have been so inspired by the performance that I've been trying to get in touch with Sly Stallone and see if maybe he'll cast me in his next Creed movie. I figure maybe I can uh, play his twin brother. Yo, Rock, you think? Yeah, maybe. Uh, so uh, thanks again. And uh, oh, wait, phone's ringing. This might be him. Uh, Sly. Sly, how you doing? Yeah, Dave Murphy. Listen, I'll get back to you guys later. Right, about the Creed thing. It's not all fun and games on Action News Mornings, but it mostly is. So let's see who's been nominated for the Fun and Games Award. Here are the nominees for the Fun and Games Award. Matt O'Donnell and Jessica Boynton play Jenga. Matt Pellman tells his best dad jokes. They were cooked in Greece. And Catherine Scott swims in marshmallows. And the winner of the Fun and Games Award goes to Matt Pellman tells his best dad jokes for Father's Day. <laughs> what? What? Me? What? Yeah. Woo! Congratulations. This is so surprising, but just in case I did prepare a speech. So <laughs> settle in. I'd like to thank my co-anchors. How can you not have fun with these people even at 3 o'clock in the morning? And I just cannot believe that these people tolerate, let alone appreciate and laud my corniness. So thank you guys. One more thing, uh, you know who else should be winning an award today? Ooh. The Scarecrow, because he's outstanding in his field. <laughs> thank you, good morning. The word feet can mean many things. It can be what goes in your shoes, or it can be what you're talking about with how far away is the shoe store. But in this case, feet has nothing to do with shoes. It's about an accomplishment. It's about a goal achieved that makes you stand up and say, go me. <laughs> and now, the nominees for Best Feet. Here are the nominees for Best Feet. Tamala Edwards wins the spelling bee. Correct. You got it. Matt O'Donnell wins the breakfast draft. And Karen Rogers Yay! launches a weather balloon into space. And the winner of the Best Feet Award is Karen Rogers launches a weather balloon into space. Oh my gosh! And this time it really is Karen Rogers award. I won. Yes. I really won there you go. You're... But I always thought I had bad feet. No, it's not that feet. feet? It, you're... Oh, the other kind. Yeah, of... it has nothing to do with those feet. But I'm so excited. There you go. Thank you so much to everybody who helped make this dream come true. And I'm such a klutz. I'm kind of glad I didn't float away with the weather balloon. So here's to you. Thanks, everybody. Yay! Woo! And now to our final award, one of the most competitive races in all of the Action News Mornings Awards. This will be interesting to see who catches this award. Here are the nominees for Best Detective Work. Here are the nominees for Best Detective Work. Detective Pikachu. Detective Pikachu. And Detective Pikachu. And the winner for Best Detective Work is Detective Pikachu. Now, Detective Pikachu is running around the newsroom somewhere, as he always does, but he did record these words to thank all of his fans. Pika, 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 Pika! Thank you, Pikachu. Well, that's the show. I want to thank all the winners and all the nominees for agreeing to this. But most importantly, thank you to the Action News viewers for watching Action News Mornings all year long. We can't have these moments without you. From all of us at the Action News Mornings Awards, have a great day and Happy New Year.